Were they born or were they made? It's such a pleasure to meet you. You are so sweet. We're so happy to have you. Thank you for doing this. It's so generous. Well, I want you to tell the story right, don't I? How do you choose your roles? I want to find a character that's difficult to, on the surface, understand. Because we're taller, you look taller on television, but we're basically the same size. We're basically the same. Feels like things just settled down and now y'all are making a movie. It's a very complex and human story. Welcome back to Night News. I appreciate if you guys like and share the video. Thank you. May December. In 2015, actress Elizabeth Berry goes to Savannah, Georgia, to get ready for her upcoming independent film role. Elizabeth will play 36-year-old Gracie Atherton Yu, who was found having sex with her son Georgie's 13-year-old classmate Joe Yu in 1992 at the pet store where she worked. While Gracie was incarcerated for her sentence, Joe's child was born. Gracie and Joe got married 23 years ago, and during that time they had three kids, Charlie and Mary, who are twins, who will soon graduate from high school, and Honor, who is going to college. Elizabeth assures Gracie and Joe right away that she will tell their story honestly when she interviews them about their love. After witnessing the stock room where Gracie and Joe were caught having sex while visiting the pet store where they met and worked, Elizabeth acts out the event on her own. She also speaks with Georgie, her musician son, and Tom, Gracie's defense lawyer from her first marriage. They portray Gracie in a number of ways, emphasizing the negative effects of her actions while yet depicting her as naive and obedient. Elizabeth attends further family gatherings prior to the twins' high school graduation. Joe is messaging a friend on Facebook who shares his interest in covertly rearing monarch butterflies. Joe once asks that they take a trip together, but she tells him that he is already married and refuses him. While Joe is visiting his father, he muses over what life will be like with Gracie after their kids had all left for college. Elizabeth answers questions at the drama class of the twins' high school and discusses the intimacy that actors and crew feel when filming a sex scene. When Elizabeth confesses that she enjoys portraying morally ambiguous characters, Mary is obviously offended. Joe trades Charlie a joint, telling his child that he has never tried cannabis before. Hi, Joe collapses into Charlie's arms and sobs. Elizabeth joins the family for dinner to celebrate the twins' graduation after Honor returns from college. At the restaurant, they stumble upon Tom, Georgie, and Gracie's extended family and have a tense encounter. In a private chat, Georgie tells Elizabeth about Gracie's past in exchange for a job as the film's music supervisor. He says he examined Gracie's diary and discovered that her older brothers had raped her sexually. In addition, Georgie threatens to cause a ruckus in the press once the movie comes out if he doesn't get the job. Elizabeth explains that before taking Joe's ride home, she'll give it some thought. In addition to sending Elizabeth a letter that Gracie wrote him when they first started dating, Joe accepts Elizabeth's invitation to stay at her house. Elizabeth tells Joe that he still has time to move on from Gracie and begin a new life after their sexual experience. Still, Joe leaves the moment Elizabeth refers to his experiences as a story. Joe asks Gracie how their relationship started while crying, asking if he was too young. Gracie insists that he tempted her and that he was always in control. Elizabeth reads the letter Joe sent her aloud as a monologue to be ready for her part as Gracie. The morning of graduation, one of Joe's butterflies emerges from its chrysalis. Later, when everyone in the family is watching Charlie and Mary graduate, Joe tears by himself on the outskirts of the crowd. As Elizabeth turns to walk away, Gracie tells her that Georgie made up the story about her brothers mistreating her and that they get along well. On the movie set, Elizabeth films multiple takes of a scene in which Gracie is training Joe. Despite her happiness, the director asks to reshoot the scene because she thinks it's getting more real. May December received critical acclaim. Rotten Tomatoes has 262 critic reviews, with an average rating of 7.9 out of 10, and 91% of them are positive. Swaddling its difficult fact-based story in a blanket of campy humor, May December is a seductively uncomfortable watch, is the general consensus expressed on the website. 36. Universal acclaim is what Metacritic meant when it gave the film an 85 out of 100 rating based on a weighted average of 52 reviews. I appreciate you watching Night News. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe.